What's up everybody, welcome back to the Riding Dad channel or welcome if it's your first time, either way, very glad to have you. Right in front of me is my new bike. I know I'm sure a bunch of you, if any, I mean probably anybody that actually clicked on this video that cares is very uh, eager to see what I got. Uh, but first we gotta roll the intro and then I'll turn you guys around and show you my new two-wheeled friend. So let's roll that intro. So right, right now I'm gonna spin you guys around and show you what I have. Um, I don't think it's gonna be what you guys think at all. Uh, it's a very different style than what you guys are accustomed to seeing. It's not going to take up the majority of the channel. It's just going to be little hints here and there of it. Uh, but let's go ahead and spin you guys around. There it is. There is my new bike. I didn't technically lie. It is a new bike. Uh, it's not a motorcycle, but it is a bike. This is an e-bike. Uh, it is from Pedal Electric. It is not necessarily the most expensive bike, um, but it also definitely isn't the cheapest. Uh, this specific model has a thousand watt rear motor. This is the Pro from Pedal Electric. Uh, Pedal, this is, by the way, 100% my own money. They didn't you know, pay me or hit me up or anything. This was 100% my own choice, my own money and everything. So everything you see about this bike is gonna be just on my own accord. Um, but basically it has a thousand watt rear motor. Uh, the street has, I think a 750 or whatever, but then the all wheel drive model has a 750 watt on the front and back. Uh, it's all wheel drive and you can switch between just the rear, just the front and then, and then both. I figured I'm not gonna be, there's obviously I'm in Florida, I don't have a ton of hills and stuff like that. I'm not gonna be doing a gigantic amount of off-road stuff with this, so I don't really need uh, both motors. Uh, they both had the top speed, they both claim the same mileage and everything like that per battery charge, so I just went ahead, saved a little bit of money, got the rear motor. I figured it'd be easier to do, um, you know, kind of wheelies and stuff if I ever get to be able to do wheelies on a bicycle, I just suck at them on any kind of two-wheeled machine. Um, but yeah, so I figured that would be it. Um, it does have front and rear suspension, uh, you see those are some Olins. No, I'm just kidding. Those are some probably China made. I doubt they even work really good, but I mean, it gets the job done for a bicycle. Uh, but some piggyback, I'm sure it's just an empty canister, uh, but <laughs> piggyback style shocks. Uh, it does, so the interesting thing about this, like most e-bikes right now, um, you basically, you have three kind of modes. modes. Uh, you could pedal and just treat it like a regular bicycle. Uh, then you could turn on pedal assist with which has different levels and it will um, the electric motor will assist and power the bicycle as you're pedaling it and it'll stop when you stop pedaling um, and then you know it, it it just will power it higher or lower depending on what setting you have it on and then uh, you have the full um, just throttle mode. You can pedal technically whatever, but it'll just go 100% on its own accord. The cool thing about this is it does have a seven speed Shimano setup uh, with the, I don't know what you call this, but it's like the little, just click it and click it. It's a really, really good intuitive system for, um, for shifting. So it does have this seven speed when you're just pedaling like normal. Um, it does have a front and rear fender, which kind of suck, but we'll get into that in a later review. It does have passenger pegs. So you do have those, you can ride two up. The battery is right here. As you can see, it does have, uh, you can monitor the battery. Let's go ahead and turn it on so you guys see what the screen looks like. It does have uh, metal and they're actually four piston, I believe it claims, actually two, sorry, two piston. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it's just one on the front and the back, but two piston actual hydraulic brakes. It's not like your typical brakes that you would find on a bicycle, just the, the cable. Um, it does actually take oil. Um, it says like mineral fluid or whatever for the brake, but they are there. They actually have removable, replaceable um, disc discs and actual brake pads. Um, so you have that. When you turn it on, you'll see right there on the, hopefully you guys can see it, on the bottom right is the assist. Here, let me turn the light on. Hopefully that will help a little bit. You'll see the assist button or uh, word, and then now there's the little light emblem because that is the light that's on. And you can see as I'm hitting the plus button, that turns the assist higher or lower. I'm gonna keep it on zero. The defaults to kind of setting one or whatever. On the left, you'll see the battery charge. This is how fast you're going, and this is your odometer. So you have 20 kilometers. It isn't kilometers, you can't change it for whatever reason. And then the battery just shows, I guess, that it's on. Uh, you have different settings. You can, if you hold that plus button, you can turn the lights on or off. I shouldn't have turned it off because the next thing I'm gonna show you is what the lights are actually. Uh, it does come with this headlight, 
which as you could uh, assume is incredibly not bright at all at night. Uh, so we're gonna get into that in a little bit later, but it comes with that. And then it comes with not a running light, which I was kind of disappointed. Again, we're gonna get into that for a fix, but it comes with a brake light. So let me see if I can, hopefully that's in frame, I can't tell, but it does come on with the actual brakes engaged, which is pretty cool. Uh, it actually comes with Kenda brand tires, or at least Kenda, hopefully they actually are Kendas. Uh, and then the, like I said, disc brakes and everything. So right now I currently have my handlebar bag from Thrashin um, on here. I did come with metal uh, pedals, which is pretty nice because on bicycles, I always tend to break the plastic ones. It came with this super sweet, uh, this bell is like right out of the future. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I have a bunch of stuff already ordered. Uh, the seat, not great, but this isn't a review video. This is just my, uh, you know, showing you guys what I have. So yeah, uh, a lot of things that are not great about it, a lot of things that are great about it. I will post a review uh, a little bit, but right now let's get on the bike and hopefully I've tested this audio set up a little bit and hopefully it's okay, hopefully it's wind muff. It's just a super windy day. I didn't expect for it to be that windy today. Uh, so let's hopefully, we'll get on the bike and hopefully you guys will hear me. If you can't hear me directly, you guys will obviously be able to tell it'll be an audio you know, dubbed over it, uh, just a secondary audio. So fingers crossed, let's go ahead and hop on the bike and. Let's take a little bit of a ride. All right, so I know you guys are pointing up to the sky. It's just I don't have the the long post for the GoPro yet. It is on order, um, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and start out. I'll take the assist off, and this is 100% uh, just throttle. So hopefully the audio stays good, and let's continue this journey. So kind of bump it down. We'll get up to about 10 miles an hour, or actually it's probably about like five-ish now. It's a little bit off and then lower. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys can continue to hear me. Uh, you may be able to pick up on a slight, uh, like a squeaking noise. That developed after my second trip out, uh, and I cannot replicate it when I have the bike in the garage. It doesn't, like, I can't, you know, it's just free spinning or using the pedal to the electric. It doesn't happen, so I'm not 100% sure what it is. It doesn't seem to impair or impede, rather, um, really anything, you know, for the actual use of the bike. It doesn't seem bad at all. So let's actually, we've never gone this way because we've never been on a bicycle. We've always been on a, uh, on a motorcycle. So, uh, this, like I said, is not a review video. I will do that in a little bit, but I wanted to explain to you guys what this channel is really all gonna be about. Uh, um, before I do that, I guess I should tell you the top speed of this. Uh, I have verified it with the speedometer app on my phone, which has proven to be accurate for uh, both my car and my motorcycle in the past. Uh, and I am getting right around reliably 28 miles an hour, which is actually surprising because that's exactly what Pedal Electric claims they, you should be getting. And usually these are rated a little bit higher than they actually show to perform. What's over there? Oh, let's go this way. So I'm getting right around 28 miles an hour. Um, sometimes, depending on, you know, it takes obviously, a, there's a lot of torque in the beginning, but it, it gets a little, it takes a little bit to get up to speed in the, in the very end of it. So basically when you get up to speed at the very end of it, uh, on a good day, not necessarily downhill, but just without, you know, a lot of crosswind or whatever, uh, I've gotten it up to about 30 to 31, which is pretty cool. Um, pedal does have a 
well, let's take this out. Pedal does have a speed limit, uh, like a limiter from the factory at 28, and there is a way to kind of um, take that off and just have the speed essentially unlimited. It goes up to like 99, but you're obviously never gonna get this up to 99. Um, pedaling, I mean, the, as far as like the regular pedaling goes, it's just like a regular bike. The ergonomics are decent, so it is a pretty decent bike. I like the style of it a lot. It's one of the reasons I got this was because I like the style so much. It reminds me more of like a cafe racer um, than it does of like a bicycle, which is pretty cool. The seat is not adjustable though, so. Um, but yeah, that's now we're getting into review more than uh, <laughs> more than the actual um, just why I purchased the bike. So yeah, that's why why if I'm gonna take this to the gym uh, on days that I don't have to pick the kit up. I can take it a lot of off-road places that in my area motorcycles are not allowed to go and just bicycles. So that'll be cool. Um, even if I have to you know put it in the back of the truck and drive an hour to get to a decent off-road spot. Hey, you know what? That's going to be pretty cool with me. Get a little bit of exercise more than I typically would. And then just, you know, just something different, something different on the channel. Like I said, this was right around $2,500. So it wasn't super cheap, but it also wasn't like a Suron or the Segway X250 or whatever it is, the 150, um, where it's like, you know, five and $6,000, sometimes eight, depending on what kind of style and model you get. Um, but that being said, it's also not that fast, you know? It's just, it's made to be a bicycle. It's not an electric dirt bike, it's an electric bicycle, which is perfectly fine with me. It solves every need that I would need it for over here. Um, what you guys can expect from the channel. So like I said, it's not gonna be predominantly on the channel. It's not gonna be, you know, the, the Ride and Dad channel has not turned into an e-bike channel now. Um, basically it has turned into a branching out channel so obviously it's just you know my logo has a chain I, I did that specifically because i did that in the beginning so i wouldn't have to rebrand it in the future um so everything with chains you know so that's not regular bicycles because those aren't very fun uh but you know e-bikes now so i have this one i might get a different one in the future i might get that electric dirt bike like from suron or segway um we'll see i think that would be pretty cool i just don't really have a use for it over here at least that i can find yet uh, but so yeah, so you can expect some modifications done to it. Let me get out of the way of this truck so they can get through. So yeah, you can expect some modifications uh, to be doing to be done to this. Uh, those will be it'll have its own build series channel, but it's not going to be as you know in depth as the motorcycle stuff. There's not much you can do to this. Uh, I still do have a lot of stuff going on with the motorcycle that I you know hopefully you guys can look forward to. I had to order a new battery. So that was a whole ordeal and it took, you know, with Christmas time and everything, it took about two weeks to ship. I just got shipping confirmation. It should be here by next weekend. Although next weekend will actually be the weekend you are watching this video. I'm about three videos ahead, um, you know, for what I have posted slash, you know, according to what I'm uh, actually filming at the time. And that is because the weekend that you are gonna be watching this, actually the last weekend, whatever it is, I'm gonna be in Disney one weekend, which essentially means obviously that I cannot uh, film anything while I'm at Disney. I could film it the day I get back, but that's just a lot and I don't want to deal with that at the same time. So uh, yeah, that, that will be why it's taking so long to see those kind of videos. So you'll see two of these videos back to back. Next week, you're actually going to see a unboxing slash put together of this bike. Um, I filmed that obviously before this because I had to get it together. But yeah, um, you guys will see in some time a review video of this and an install video. It might be kind of heavy on the channel uh, for the next month or two. That's just because there's a lot that I'm doing to it to set it up. And like I said, I'm waiting on some stuff for the, uh, for the motorcycle to get to me. But let's go ahead and do a kind of up to speed run here. Hopefully you guys can see and it does it justice on the video. It's a real bumpy stretch of road but it actually does get going pretty quick. Like I said, uh, 30 miles an hour doesn't seem, may not seem that that fast to you, but on a bicycle, it, it is. It gets up there pretty good and the brakes are really good. So we can slow down pretty quick here too. Don't have to worry about any of that. And it's just a pretty cool overall product. Uh, I do look forward to doing some more videos with this. Let me slow down so you guys can for sure hear me. I think that is going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys very much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and you turn on post notifications. That way you guys never miss another one of my videos, whether it's on a motorcycle or on an e-bike. 
Make sure you click on all of the links and check out everything that I have in the description because it's full of a bunch of fun stuff, some discounted stuff as well. And until the next time, guys, ride safe, have fun. Dad out. <laughs>